her family supported her entirely, you know, without question. It was more the community, the elders in the community who initially they couldn't even fathom the idea of a woman taking on this, this tradition. Um, and then latterly, they, they kind of, you know, gave a lot of excuses as to why she was being successful. And then ultimately, I'm happy to say, you know, they, they've come to accept her. But no, her family, her family was incredibly supportive. And I think the reason being is that they, is that she had always loved eagles. You know, her mother talks about her crawling over to her father's eagle in the corner of the, the yurt, the girl as a baby. And after her brother was conscripted to the army, she took over a lot of the chores that her brother was traditionally handling, you know, that were deemed to be for the eldest boy in the household. They fell on her shoulders and she was able to, you know, she was doing a lot of these outdoor chores, riding horses, herding, doing all of these sorts, sorts of things. And her dad, and, and she sort of parlayed that into training with her dad. She was like, well, I'm doing this. Why can't I learn? And, and he saw, to his credit, he saw absolutely no reason why she couldn't. And if you look at the, the closeness, I tried, to, I tried my damnedest to capture it, this sort of preternatural connection that she has with the birds. It's clear that there's, especially when you compare it against the other men in the community and how close they sit or act with their birds, it's clear that there's something extra going on with her, that there, that there is all, this almost kind of preternatural connection between her and her and her animal. 